Yo, what's up? Simply Pops here, and today I'm going to be doing my everyday carry of 2021. Now, this is a special year because this is the year that everybody's starting to go outside. Hashtag we outside. After going through that devastating year of 2020, why don't I do an everyday carry? I want to show you guys the sauce. Now, this goes without saying, I need my house keys. I can't leave the house without it. I need to lock the door, get into my car. And of course, I have my hand sanitizer, keeping those hand sanitized, and as well as my air tags. Now, the air tags is something that you just set it and forget it. You don't really do nothing with it unless you lose your keys. This is going to come in handy. Now, I do have my name engraved, SP, but on the back, it is all scratched up. <laughs> That's stainless steel. Now, my AirPods of choice is the original OG AirPods. This is the AirPods 2 with the wireless charging case. And this is with the Rhino Shield AirPods case just to have that carabiner clip on there. And you have that protection. So if I drop my keys, the AirPods are not going to damage up. But the reason why I like the original AirPods so much is because they stay in my ears with no problems whatsoever. I could just put them on and that's it. And that was one of the main reasons why I just can't go with the pros. I still have my AirPods Pro, but... The standard AirPods are just so much more reliable. They stay in my ears. They don't slip off, but that's just me. Now, from time to time, very rare, I rock out my AirPods Max on the go, but the reason why I don't do that too often is because these aren't really travel friendly, especially if you put it in its case. You're not really getting as much protection, but only if it's necessary, if I need it to do some kind of video editing, I need to hear everything in detail, then I'll bring my AirPods Max. But just for listening to music, my standard AirPods are just going to get the job done. So yeah, AirPods Max only depends if I'm bringing my MacBook Pro. And you guys can see it goes one-to-one, -one, space gray, space gray. But yeah, only if I'm going to be somewhere stationary like my grandmother's house or if I'm going to be in a waiting room. Why not pick up where I left off on Final Cut Pro, edit some videos, get some work done. That's the only time I bring my MacBook. But if I'm planning on not doing any kind of video editing or any kind of professional work, that's when I bring my iPad Pro. So this is what I use to surf the web on the go, check my emails, media consumption, and especially having that cellular iPad. So yes, this is a cellular iPad. And as you guys can see, space gray, space gray. You guys see the trend here? Space gray, everything. And of course, to go along song with my iPad, I put it in the Magic Keyboard case. So media consumption, getting work done. I'm bringing my AirPods Max. I almost call it AirPods Pro Max. Yeah, you guys see this? This is a full screen. So now when I connect it, it's gonna say, hello, Simply Pops. Have a nice day. And then now I can be able to connect my, uh, you know, SD card, USB. You have a Type-C for power delivery. HDMI is on deck. And then the best thing is you can see the wattage, see how much yeah, so you have your information on screen here. Definitely one of my favorite dongles ever. Highly recommend it. But yeah, those items, it's more like a weekly thing, if not every other week. But this is something I carry every single day. This is my wallet. This is the Ridge wallet. This is the Forge Amber color. It looks sick. Now, I do have another Ridge wallet to match alongside with my gold iPhone 12 Pro. And it, it goes one-to-one. -one. I might switch time to time, but currently... I still have this wallet and yeah, I have a couple of cash on the back. And of course, I have my usual stuff in my wallet. My Apple card is still here. This is one of my favorite credit cards, guys. I am going to make another video on this two years later of having an Apple card. Definitely titanium this. This card is sick. Now, another favorite card of mine is this. Shout out to Jacqueline from Nothing But Tech 88 in collaboration with Dive. <laughs> Dive. And basically, this is like the modern time business card. So now, normally, if you try to get somebody's Instagram, you open up Instagram, you put it in. or But this is much more cooler. Watch this. Now, let's just pretend that this is somebody else's phone. Now you, now you can get their Instagram just like that. Think about it, guys. That's going to start up a conversation. Wow, that's so cool. Like, what's, what card is that? And then boom, Jacqueline is pretty smart with that because now if you show somebody this, they might want to have a card too. I would say this card right here is for creators. And the best thing too about it, you can have your contact. So your phone number, your name, etc., your file, and then you have your hydrant. 
all right? <laughs> your hydrant. So I have my Instagram, my Twitter, my Twitch, my website, and then I can save that, and it's automatically going to be saved onto the card. So now next time when I hover over to somebody else's phone, boom. Now it's going to take you to the hydrant site, and boom, here it is. So this is my Instagram. I tap on Instagram. There it is. Twitter, boom. So shout out to Jacqueline. You guys support the young creators out there doing it big. And yeah, that's just genius. And of course, I don't look in the description to Ridge Wallets. Yes, they are a sponsor on this channel, but I really do love this wallet. And just look at the size of it. It's the same size as a card. You don't feel no kind of bulkiness. It's just a one of a kind wallet. I cannot start the day without putting on my Apple Watch. The Apple Watch Series 5 is still going strong. I skipped the Series 6 because I feel like it was just a waste you know, just to have the blood glucose monitoring, whatever that thing is called, it just not it's not necessary. So I kept around with my Series 5. I will probably upgrade to the Series 7 if they're going to redesign it. But the Series 5 has just been a really reliable watch. I love the always-on display. But my preferred band that I like to put on daily, the Sport Loop. This is Apple's most comfortable band. And yes, this is official Apple. This is no knockoff. This is my favorite band of all time. And the best thing too about it, it breathes. You have the, the Velcro and then you have that breathable material. So you have air flowing to your wrist. So no kind of fatigueness at all. So this is my go-to everyday watch band. Now I have this in black, orange, and I had other colors, but I gave it to a friend. I, I need to pick up some more. But lately, I've been rocking out with the braided bands. Now, this band right here, very stretchy as you can see, but you also have that breathable material too. So you guys can see my hand or my finger. So you have that breathable material too. And it looks just as nice too. Yeah, and it just goes on just like that. Now, when it's time to go out to eat or dress a little bit more, you know, fancy spancy, <laughs> I like to throw on like a leather band or a nylon band, or even like this Pataka band, this link bracelet band, this carbon fiber. I like to rock out with these bands too. And if you look at it closely, if you look at my Apple Watch, I have this Pataka uh, air case for my Apple Watch, so it turns it into carbon fiber. Adds another little spice to your Apple Watch. And without any introduction, my iPhone 12 Pro. Can't leave the house without my phone at all. And this phone been reliable. Can't wait for the iPhone 13 or 12S. And I rock out with this Pataka mag case because this opens up so many more accessories. So I have this uh, car mount from Pataka. So I just slap my phone on there and then that's it. I'm good to go. And I just love the way how this phone feels in my hands. It's like less prone to this, like slipping off my hand. It's just you can grip it more better. The screen size isn't as big. So I actually downgraded from the 11 Pro Max to the 12 Pro. And yeah, this is my favorite phone right now. And last but not least, a mask. Even though things calm down in the world, well, not everywhere around the world, we're still trying to recover from COVID. Places are still requiring you to wear a mask and you just got to have one on deck. It goes without saying. I had a bunch of black cloth masks, but I lost them all throughout 2020. And this is all I could find right now at the moment. We see in the light in the tunnel right now. And hopefully things will just get improved from here on out. That's, so now. there you have it. Those are my everyday carry of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. And until next time, have a simple day.